Why you mad? I got a bag, bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. If you're new to the channel, if you are an oldie, I just want to say welcome back. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about breastfeeding, all about the boobs. If you're new to my channel, yes guys, my name is Karen, as I earlier mentioned, and I'm a mother of two beautiful girls who were solely breastfed for six months. So this is something I feel like is going to help someone, so please make sure to share the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran. If you're new to the channel, if you are an oldie, I just want to say welcome back. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about breastfeeding. Yes guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a mom of two beautiful girls who were solely exclusively breastfed for six months straight. Yes guys, I know this is something I just thought it was going to be helpful because I've been saying this a lot on um youtube people talking about like having difficulties with their milk supply and stuff like that so i was like you know what i might as well create a video and share with you guys my story this is i'm not a doctor or anything like that but i just want to tell you guys like what actually worked for me it might be helpful to somebody so please make sure to share this video out there so guys breastfeeding 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 yes as earlier mentioned i am a mom of two beautiful girls who were solely breastfed for six months i know to some people six months is like a lot but to, to some people they'll be like what some people actually went over a year exclusively on breast milk and some people are like man so how did you get all the milk supply and stuff like that but we're gonna get right into that i'm just gonna make this video very nice sweet and short and basically straight to the point so breastfeeding when we think about breastfeeding we just think about pain we think about patience we think so guys first thing with breastfeeding comes pain especially for the first like couple of weeks after giving birth first couple of weeks after nurse um after giving birth to your baby when you just started breastfeeding it is kind of painful but that doesn't mean you need to give up no guys it takes a lot of patience as earlier mentioned so just be patient if this is something you truly want you truly want to do please 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 be patient and the pain the pain is gonna go away after a couple of weeks we all know it's painful but it's gonna go away so what you want to do first things first you want to make sure your baby lashes on um, latches on your breast good some babies tend to latch good some babies need a little bit of herb with latching and I think like with my babies both of them they are like foodie like trust me they love food just like their mama they eat a lot just like me so they had no problem latching at the hospital the doctors were like so surprised they latch on so well with no help at all so they had no problem with that but if you're someone with your baby struggling to latch and stuff like that, they'll actually show you at the hospital if first time moms we know how it be the doctors will actually help you with like show you how to position your baby to get the baby to latch correctly if the baby tend to latch correctly that really helps you a whole lot especially with milk supply because if the baby is not doing what he or she is supposed to be doing it's gonna kind of like affect your milk supply because the more you tend to feed your baby the more milk your body knows like oh i need to produce milk because something is actually coming out is leaving the body which means it needs to produce more so guys another thing we need to talk about is like you need to position yourself breastfeeding is like a full-time job so and it takes a lot of patience as Elia mentioned so you need to know how to like position yourself for like back support to be comfortable because you can tend to, some people breastfeed for like a span of 30 minutes some do for like an hour it just depends so you want to be you want to make sure you are very very comfortable within the time period of you breastfeeding so you want to get like a supportive pillow or su pillows to help support your back and mm -hmm, to help support your back to make sure you are comfortable and ready to breastfeed your beautiful baby so another thing you want to make sure to do is like go trust me you need to eat some people after giving birth all they think about is like losing weight no 
trust me the way what people fail to realize is the more you breastfeed your baby that's how you tend to lose i think it says like 500 calories per day so if you breastfeed if you someone please leave in the comment section below like i want you guys to back me up on this because this is like facts so many people have said this before so the more you breastfeed your baby that's how you tend to lose you tend to lose some weight too so breastfeeding actually helps with like you losing weight so this is the thing don't play mind tricks on yourself like oh i don't want to eat because i don't want to gain weight but guess what your body needs all the nutrients it can get so you because the baby depends on you so if you feed yourself junk that's exactly what the baby is gonna get if you feed yourself ba a balanced meal or balanced diet that's what you're giving your baby so you want to make sure you eat correctly you eat good forget about losing weight we can lose that weight after a baby is like good and goody tushy so don't worry get that out of your mind for now just focus on you breastfeeding and taking good care of this wonderful human you just brought to the world so eat well another thing you need to do is like you need to drink a lot of fluid trust me take you need to drink a lot of fluid bottle of water make sure you have that with you at all time drink enough liquid the more liquid you double you take um you send out of your body through breastfeeding that's how you need to put in more fluid into your body i think i don't know how many percent of the breast milk is actually made of water so you definitely need to put all the fluids back in your body so drink enough liquid put enough liquid in your body feed well guys feed feed well okay this is something like my mom usually like tells me i don't know if it's something like african parents or like it doesn't really matter but like drinking tea so me first of all i grew up drinking tea so like milk and overtain that really helps with like um increasing your supply so with being pregnant with, with with me nursing or without me nursing i was already drinking tea so it was just like a plus for me so make sure if you're someone who love drinking tea like milk and overtain so I'll encourage you to um, do that or if you're not someone who is into drinking tea just try that and see if it actually helps but like like I said it actually helped for me like it helped a whole lot I drank tea I'm someone I can drink tea at any time of the day so it really doesn't matter so it was just like a plus to me so drink enough drink tea morning afternoon evening whenever wherever how you feel like at least even once a day is fine so drinking tea that is like a mug and over tea. i was gonna bring i have it upstairs i was gonna bring you guys like i have this a big pig milk container that is something i always have at home because like i drink tea i drink pop with milk that's just me like that is just me but the good thing is some people might be scared like oh i don't want to put an extra pound i don't want to gain all this weight but a plus for me is i eat a lot guys but you can't actually tell because i don't gain weight so i'm thankful for that so that is something um i think is really gonna help you guys so if you're watching this video and you are pregnant i just want to say congratulations or you actually already gave birth congratulations to you too and if you're thinking about getting pregnant and that is why you stumbled upon this video and you're just trying to do your research to see if you should breastfeed i encourage everyone to breastfeed it is like a wonderful feeling like the bond it creates like this bond between the mother and the baby so i encourage everyone to do it and also when you are breastfeeding guys you want to make sure you have like the breast pads because you're gonna be licking so walk around with an extra breast pad just in case you have like an overflow you just switch up your pads so make sure to do that so let's just do like a quick recap about breastfeeding well first things first you want to make sure your baby latches correctly on your breast another thing you want to get like a supportive pillow that is gonna help you with like your position make sure you're comfortable in like breastfeeding make sure to take in enough fluids enough enough fluids and make sure to eat good eat well eat nice meal balanced diet whatever keep in mind whatever you put in your system that is what the baby is getting so have that in the back of your mind while you're breastfeeding 
and also it might be painful but it is worth it so just think about your beautiful one think about your beautiful one. it might be painful but it will be worth it at the end so and make sure to get like the nipple cream just in case because sometimes your nipple can get all jacked up and stuff like that but i tell you what the nipple cream is very very helpful it helps a whole lot so please make sure you have your nipple cream I always get extra from the hospital so i really i always buy mine like i'll buy one but when i go to the hospital like i always come out with like a couple of them so have your nipple cream ready and make sure to get your nipple pads breast pads or nipple pads or whatever yes so just in case you have an overflow and also know this this is something like your mind and your body and your system i don't know how to put it but the more you the more you breastfeed your baby the more your body or your brain knows to produce more because you the brain will, um you breastfeeding your baby is actually alerting your brain to know that um okay something is leaving your body and something needs to be replaced and for for all that to happen you actually need to feed you feed well eat well drink enough fluids so make sure to breastfeed your baby more often and if it's in a situation where you don't have your baby by your side or your baby sleeps a lot or whatnot you don't have you need something to stimulate your nipples just massage your nipples and that helps a whole lot as well in milk supply i love you guys so so much and if if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you think it's gonna help someone please make sure to share this video i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next one stay tuned for more baby related videos very educative ones i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye